I'm Liz Talbot, Executive Director of Now Canada Society. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here today to celebrate not only the announcement of Now Canada's affordable housing project over the laneway here on Corston, but another two housing initiatives which total nearly 250 new affordable rental homes for people in the Kelowna region. Certainly a cause to celebrate. So to start Kelowna's housing announcement event here today, I would like to invite Elder Wilfred Grouse Barnes from West Bank First Nation to offer the welcoming. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody this morning? Fantastic. Why has seek the quest? Why has why cross? Seek the quest. Seek the quest. Hello, good morning. Bonjour. I live on Kulunjit Kad Wis Kalifasti's Bulus can a lot the seek the quest. Cards call Quiltums to Makalas for help. Kali has to be a yaki. If he is not chilled with that, that's yap chin. Kali has to be a If he is a mala, that's. Thank you, Creator, for allowing me to say a few words of prayer. You know, things that we're talking about here is going to it's going to help so many families and, and children, and it's so good to see. It's so good. It makes my heart light. So I'm very happy to see all my friends here, all uh, the mayor, and all these people that make it happen. Uh, this time of year, it's winter time. Um, there's a lot of snow, and that's good for the land. That's good for the land. It's good for the trees, the animals, the grass that grows. So let's get on to what we're going to do today and let's enjoy the day, even though it's a little chilly. So thank you very much and welcome to Seal Territory. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to welcome the Honorable Selena Robinson, Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, to say a few words. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. It's certainly a pleasure to be here. And while it is a little bit chilly, um, I think we can all handle it. I think we're tough enough. Um, it is great to be back here in Kelowna. I've been coming back, I think, fairly regularly uh, because we need to make sure that we are addressing a significant shortage of housing uh, here in Kelowna and throughout the Okanagan. And I'm honored to be here today on the territory of the Okanagan Nation, and I'd like to thank our elder for the warm welcome, for reminding us about the value of snow and cold and how it's good for the trees and for the animals. Um, and, I, and I just appreciate uh, the warm welcome that we've received. Now, our government knows that people have been struggling just to keep up with the cost of living and especially finding affordable housing. Now, the old government chose to ignore the housing crisis and even people who had professional um, careers, teachers, nurses, um, paramedics, and even small business owners, they were having a hard time. They were struggling to find a good home that they can raise their family in. Now our government's making different choices. We're choosing to invest in people by building affordable homes because people shouldn't have to leave their community to find an affordable place to live. So today we are celebrating nearly 250 homes that will help make life more affordable for people in Kelowna and in West Kelowna. So I thank the two mayors for being here. These projects are part of our work to build the homes that people need in every part of this province. And I'm very excited about the progress we're making through partnerships, we have more than 22,000 homes 
either open or under construction or in the development uh, process. They're underway right now here in British Columbia. And I want you to know that this includes 1,200 new homes in Kelowna and in West Kelowna. And this progress would not be possible if it weren't for our partners. So I think it's important that I do take the time um, as a government to thank our partners and uh, express gratitude and appreciation. So please help me do that. I want to thank the Government of Canada, the City of Kelowna, the City of West Kelowna, Now Canada Society, the Society of Hope, and High Street Ventures. These projects are great examples of how strong partnerships are helping us to build affordable homes. They're also helping us create healthy, vibrant, and thriving communities. Now the housing crisis that we are facing did not happen, it didn't just appear overnight. And we won't be able to fix it overnight. And we're going to keep working hard with the partners like those that we have here so that we can deliver on the housing for people who need it most. People who found themselves homeless, people who are working hard every day to feed their families who still can't find homes that they can afford, and seniors, seniors who have worked hard their entire lives and are finding themselves pushed out of the housing market. So we look forward to our continued work with our partners and thank you everyone for being here. Woo! Thank you so much. Thanks for fitting this into your busy schedule. I know you're a lady with not enough hours in the day, so we really appreciate you being here. I'd like to introduce a gentleman who really doesn't need any introduction, your Mayor, Colin Bazran. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and for joining us for these uh, exciting announcements uh, of multiple projects, which is just so cool. Um, I too want to just take a moment to acknowledge that we are gathered today on the traditional ancestral unceded territory of the Sil Okanagan people. And I just want to introduce a couple of my council colleagues who have joined me here today. Uh, Councillor Woldridge is here, uh, Councillor Given is here, and uh, Councillor Stack, whom you're going to be hearing from uh, shortly, is here as well. I um, want to thank the City Manager, Doug Gilchrist, for being here, and also just want to recognize MLA Norm Latnick, who's here as well. Thank you, Norm, for being here. Um, so it's always a pleasure to welcome, of course, Minister Robinson to our city, not only because she's here to help celebrate um, more new housing for our city, but it's also great to see her to be able to talk in person about broader community issues and uh, looking forward to that opportunity uh, in the next uh, little while. But uh, of course, the new housing announcements are always very welcome and the city and our community partners are very excited about today's new housing opportunities. Okay, normally that would drive me nuts, but because this is such a good news story, I am so happy to hear the construction noise in the background uh, because we really need these units and I, uh, I can't understate that. Um, the city believes that housing is a fundamental piece in creating a safe and inclusive community. These affordable housing projects, as you know, are desperately needed. Even though our vacancy rate has improved in the last year or so, the rents are still really high or unattainable for some. The supply and demand for housing makes it a struggle for many to pay market rents in Kelowna. And that's why these developments are so important, adding to the missing middle of housing identified in the city's 2017 housing needs assessment. In the past three years, city incentives and market demand resulted in more than 1,200 purpose-built rental units being constructed in Kelowna. That's in addition to the 1,200 homes completed or under construction by the province to meet a variety of needs. Through the years, Kelowna's collaboration with the province have produced a broad inventory of housing options for single men, women, seniors, and families. Altogether, BC Housing provides ongoing funds for more than 40 properties throughout Kelowna for assisted living, emergency shelters, halfway homes, and tr transitional housing. But as many of you know, we still have a long way to go in this city, but we are getting there step by step, thanks to all of the partners who are here today. Thanks again to the Minister for being here, to my colleagues who are here for this announcement, and more importantly to our community partners who are stepping up to support these investments in Kelowna. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Mayor Bazran. We appreciate you attending today, and also a huge thank you to um, you and the City Council 
for your continual support for our agencies as we try and build more affordable housing in Kelowna. Scott Butler is president of High Street Ventures and he is here to tell us about the work that is underway at Carrington View in West Kelowna. Scott? Yeah, I don't know. Who <laughs> told me I don't need that? So, yeah. Hopefully these are high enough. I feel like I'm on a podcast with these microphones. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you. Uh, thanks for the introduction. And uh, yeah, High Street's here because we're building uh, apartments in West Kelowna and BC Housing is providing financing and is also supporting that, uh, or push to net zero on that project. Uh, High Street has a goal to own and operate 1,000 net zero apartments by the end of 2024, and Carrington View in West Kelowna, which we're talking about today, is a big step towards that goal. And just so we're all clear, we're, we're in this spectrum here uh, on the housing spectrum. We're more middle income, uh, and it's market rental is what we're building in West Kelowna. Carrington View is one of the 11 winners of BC Housing's Net Zero Energy Ready Challenge. And as uh, BC Housing is supporting our design efforts on that with a hundred, oh, jeez. Uh, BC Housing is supporting that design effort with $129,000 upon successful completion of construction. So, uh, you know, win, it's okay. Yeah, you hold it up. Um, we are building uh, step code four uh, 12 years before it's a provincial requirement. So in doing that, we're trying to demonstrate to the industry that it can be built and it can be done at a reasonable cost. Uh, so I'm here to say that our, our construction costs on that, on step four, $185 a square foot. Uh, so it's a bit of a challenge to the industry to, uh, to take that uh, mantle forward. I, do, I would like to add though that as much as those costs are reasonable, one of the major costs in building affordable housing is the various level of various levels of taxes not the friendliest audience to say that but there's three levels of government that influence that and oddly we tax affordable housing more than we do luxury housing uh, on a two bed two bath rental it's about fifty thousand dollars in taxes when you look at various municipalities around uh, the province of bc so it's a big number and i'm not sure everybody's aware of it so we need to do more at all levels of government to help reduce the tax burden to make uh, entry-level housing more affordable. The City of West Kelowna has supported this project from the very beginning. This is actually our third uh, project in West Kelowna on an existing site, uh, bringing the total number of rentals there to over 400. And uh, Mayor uh, Gord Milson is here uh, today, and I'd just like to thank uh, the Mayor and Council and staff for supporting that uh, throughout our endeavors there. Finally, I'd like to introduce uh, Luke Stack. Uh, Luke is a longtime city councillor and is a local leader in creating uh, affordable housing. So, uh, Luke, come on up. Nice, nice. Thanks very much, Scott, and congratulations on step four. That's amazing. Wow. We're all sort of trying to get our head around step three, so that's a, a, a significant accomplishment. Anyway, I'm very pleased to be here on behalf of the Society of Hope today. Uh, we are celebrating the opening of 21 family townhomes in the Glenmore Valley. Uh, these are ideally located townhomes right across from a middle school across the street. And uh, the units that we're celebrating today are those missing middle units that Mayor Bazran was just talking about. They're targeted for working families who are making good incomes but are still struggling under the pressure of high rental costs in Kelowna. But with the support of the government of British Columbia and the city of Kelowna, in this case, who is leasing the property to our society and, and to the uh, provincial government on a long-term lease, the cost of developing these houses has been greatly reduced through equity contributions. Our goal in these units is to have the people that live there pay 30% of their income toward their rent. And just to give you an idea, we have two bedroom and three bedroom units there. The two bedroom townhome is renting for $900 a month and the three bedroom is for $1,100 a month. Those are very good rates by Corona standards yeah. and uh, they will target people who are working and needing to be able to pay a rent in that range. 
So as I thought about, there's a lot of speakers today. I asked Lisa Monster, our administration manager, what she would say if she had one thing to say to you all today. And she closed her eyes and got thoughtful for a moment. And she said, I think I would say, if we all work together, we can find housing solutions. If we all work together, we can find housing solutions. So thank you, Lisa. That's my inspiration. Let's find these housing solutions. So on behalf of our board of directors, Mr. Philip Lambert representing, we as a society of hope are very honored to work with the BC government, BC Housing, the city of Kelowna, and in our case, Vanmore Constructors who built these beautiful homes. So we thank you all for working together as partners with us and look forward to having these units serve our community for many years to come. Thank you. Um, now it's my turn and um, tell you a little bit about now Canada. From the day Eric Druin at Royal LePage made us aware that the piece of land over the laneway was up for sale, we knew we had a great opportunity to be part of the solution to create more affordable housing in Kelowna. In just over a year's time, 1060 Causton will be finished and will be ready to provide 40, one, two and three bed apartments for low to middle income individuals, families, and women with children. Now currently offers rental homes to 60 women and 27 children as part of our continuum of care. And we see on a daily basis the need for more of this sort of housing. To make a difference in our community takes teamwork. As many people have said today, no one organization can do this alone. The Government of Canada, through its co-investment fund, partnered with the province, our good friends at BC Housing, through the Community Housing Fund, to invest in this awesome project. As well, BC Housing is also providing annual operating funding and a 60-year operating agreement. The City of Kelowna will contribute development cost charge reductions. All, as, all levels of government working together, a great team. And talking of great teams, the team working on bringing this project to fruition is no exception. It's easy to respect their incredible talents and it's a great experience to work alongside them. Newtown are the architects, they've done an amazing job. As City Council commented when we went there for building permit, Newtown design, designed affordable housing that does not look like affordable housing and this is how it should be. It is a classy looking building from the outside and it just gets better as you explore inside. They've done an exceptional job and created a building that will enhance this neighborhood. A dedicated team of engineers and a variety of professionals, too many to mention, are working with Skook Construction to turn Newtown's wonderful design into reality. Skooka was the first choice for this building. Their experience in creating affordable housing in Kelowna is vast and we wanted the best on this project. And many not-for-profits, as a not-for-profit, this is really not our mandate. We don't really often get the chance to work on a project like this. It's a great opportunity, it's exciting, and at times it can be very daunting. Benson Holmes, our development consultant, is leading the society through this whole process, as well as doing a ton of other things. To make sure the project stays on track, the society is truly grateful for this assistance. And our team is greatly complemented by BC Housing's Dana Locke, Director, um, Director Regional Development for the Interior, and Matthew Brody, Development Manager. 40 new homes, 40 new families or individual in affordable housing in Kelowna. That sounds good. So on behalf of now Canada's Board of Directors, many that are here today, and the wonderful staff that I'm privileged to work for, thank you for coming here today to celebrate our groundbreaking well, it's really concrete pouring. Um, and I look forward to meeting you all back here early in 2021 to celebrate our grand opening. But now I have the delight to introduce you to an inspiring single mother who over the past years we've had the pleasure to get to know. Crystal Dahl and her son Jackson have created their home with Now Canada in one of our affordable housing apartments. Crystal has kindly agreed to speak with you today. Crystal, welcome. Good 
Good morning. Uh, my name is Crystal Dahl, and I currently live in one of the now Canada housing units. I have a three-year-old little boy, Jackson, and we moved to Kelowna from the Fraser Valley in the summer of 2017 to leave an unsafe environment. <coughs> my parents were able to let us stay with them until we were able to find affordable housing for the two of us. I knew that would be very challenging as now I was having to start all over again and I had no idea how I was going to do this with little to no money. I had no idea where to start, so I went to the Kelowna Family Centre and there they gave me some places to call, one of which was now Canada. I was told that they were a non-profit organization providing low-income housing for women and their families who have a proven financial need. So I applied with them, had an interview, and three months later we were moving in. It was two weeks before Christmas, so it was a real blessing to spend it in our new home. Now Canada has provided a safe and secure home for my son Jackson and I to live in. The staff there sincerely care about our well-being and have helped provide resources including counselling for myself and a one-on-one -on -one employment counsellor. I'm so grateful to have this opportunity and I hate to think of where we might be living without their help and support. Housing is so expensive and I could not have done it on my own without them and we are very blessed. I feel we're on our way to a brighter future, especially for my son. I've been able to have employment part-time through Now Canada, and we are finally getting on our feet, and I have great hopes and a better future in front of us. Again, we're very appreciative for Now Canada. Thank you. Woo great. Thank you so much. Well, we're almost finished now. Um, I'd like to invite the media to come forward with any questions pertaining to this announcement. We have about five minutes. So I don't know if there's anyone from the media who have anything to ask. Going? Oh, yes. Here? 40, yeah. I think that's it. Short and sweet, huh? Um, so now we are going to take a few photos and the minister needs to be on her way to view Scott and Luke's projects. So once again, thank you all for being here today to celebrate these three awesome housing initiatives, a true benefit to our community. Safe travels.